Hi, I'm Jill, curator of anthropology and exhibitions here at the Boonshock Museum of Discovery in Dayton, Ohio. Today, we are going to talk about rocks. Not the rock, but rocks. So, what is a rock? A rock is a natural mass of minerals that makes up the Earth's crust. Rocks can vary in shape, in size, in color, in texture, and they fall into three main categories. First is igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are formed when molten rock or magma solidifies. This can happen deep in the earth or most commonly during volcanic eruptions when magma comes to the surface and explodes. Examples of igneous rocks include obsidian, basalt, and granite. Next, we have sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are made of sediments. Sediments, like pieces of other rocks and minerals or the bodies of dead organisms, will settle down and become compacted over time and create sedimentary rocks. Examples of sedimentary rocks include limestone, sandstone, and shale. The third type of rock is metamorphic rock. And metamorphic rock occurs when a pre-existing rock is transformed, either through heat or pressure. So a rock like granite will transform into a really nice rock called gneiss. Okay, limestone transforms into marble and shale transforms into slate. There are some fun activities you can do at home to help understand how these different rocks form and we're going to do one right now. This fun hands-on activity will show you how different rocks are formed. All you need to do this activity is three colors of moldable clay. You can pick whatever colors you would like. First, we're going to do igneous rocks. And remember, igneous rocks are formed when molten rock solidifies. So we're going to take a lump here of moldable clay. And let's imagine that this is molten magma inside the earth. And your hand is a volcano. And as your hand closes, that clay is coming up and up and up and up and up until it falls out and it becomes an igneous rock. Sometimes during volcanic eruptions, small pieces of lava can shoot out, creating lava bombs, which are pretty fun. Don't hurt anybody while you're throwing the clay. Next, we are going to make a sedimentary rock. Remember, sedimentary rocks are formed when layers of sediment build up and compact over time. So I have preformed here these little rolled up balls of clay. So you can do this at home by just taking a small chunk of your moldable clay and rolling it up. Roll up a pretty good amount of each color. Put your first color down here. This is your first layer of sediment your second layer of sediment, and your third layer of sediment. Then we're going to smash this down to create our sedimentary rock. And you have these different layers here. Our last type is metamorphic. And metamorphic rock, again, is formed when you have a pre-existing rock that's transformed by either heat or pressure. So you're going to take your sedimentary rock that you just made and squish it up and knead it up and squish it up until all of those layers seem to disappear. If you do this long enough, you'll have a brand new color. Or you can stop creating this kind of marbled effect. And there is your metamorphic rock. So to conclude, rocks are all around us and rocks are really cool.
So I challenge you to go out into your backyard and see what kind of rocks you can find. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to our channel, and I will see you next time. Have a great, great day. Bye.